वेलकम टू दिस लेक्चर ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग माई सेल्फ योगेश गायदनी फैकल्टी एट मेकैनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ए के वार पॉलिटेक्निक नासिक टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर ऑल फर्स्ट इयर डिप्लोमा स्टूडेंट्स एज वेल एज फॉर ऑल फर्स्ट इयर इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट बिकॉज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट इज देयर इन द सिलेबस विच इज मेकैनिकल ड्रॉइंग और वी कैन सी इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक सब्जेक्ट इज देयर सो I am going to explain one important topic that is ellipse. So, how to draw ellipse and how to draw ellipse by concentric circle method. So, let's start with the method here. Method with the help of which we are going to draw the ellipse. So, first method we are going to see first is concentric circle method. And the problem will be like this. Here, problem will be given to you in the final exam. That is. Draw ellipse by concentric circle method with major axis 100 mm and minor axis 80 mm. Means this type of problem will be given to you. Means we have to draw ellipse by this concentric circle method. Here two important things are given. First is major axis. Means major axis will be given that is equal to 100 mm and minor axis will be given which is equal to 80 mm. This is here given data. and with the help of this we have to draw ellipse so let's start with the solution of the problem so first step is as we know major axis is equal to 100 mm so take distance equal to half of the major axis which is equal to 50 mm as a radius so take 50 mm distance in compass uh, i will suggest you have to take consider uh, this is your book page and you have to use the center point over here so that total problem will be covered in a single page with a perfect manner so i am here taking center and as major axis is equal to 100 mm so half of the major axis half of the 100 will be equal to 50 so take 50 mm distance in compass and draw one circle here you have to draw circle very carefully so this is the circle this circle will be of diameter 100 mm this should be straight one ye circle hame dark nahi karna hai because we are focusing on the ellipse hame ellipse draw karna hai isliye ye circle this circle we use only and only for construction purpose ye sirf construction purpose ke liye hame use karna hai This is the axis I am going to draw vertical axis as well as horizontal axis of the circle. This is the circle. This is the circle with major axis 100 mm. So this will be equal to 100 mm, and this will represent the major axis of ellipse. So this is the first one. Second input is that which is minor axis, which is given 80 mm. Means minor axis ka diameter hamen diya hai 80 mm. so again you have to take half of the distance and half of the 80 will be equal to 40 so take 40 mm distance in compass by taking same center point same center point hame lena hai but 80 ka half hota hai 40 so take 40 mm distance in compass as a radius and draw again one circle yahan pe hame circle draw karna hai you have to draw with the help of protector now let's move towards step number 2 we have to divide this outer circle as well as inner circle into number of equal part you can divide it into 8 equal part you can divide it into 12 equal part more the part will be the accuracy of the ellipse will be better so better way we can go with the 12 parts so as we know total Angle included by circle will be equal to 360 degree, and suppose we want to divide it into into 12 equal part. So 360 divided by 12, it will be equal to 30 degree. Means one part will be of 30 degree. So in the protector, take angle equal to 30 degree from this point. So 30 degree. Yeah, this will be equal to 30 degree again. This will be equal to 30 degree. This will be equal to 30 degree. Likewise, we have to divide this circle into 12 equal parts. So 
so this is the divisor so from here i will name it point number 1 similarly here point number 1 point number 2 2 point number 3 3 point number 4 point number 4 5 5 6 6 Seven, seven, point eight, point nine, point ten, point eleven, and point twelve. So this is the divisor of inner circle as well as outer circle into twelve equal parts. So this is the step number two. Hope you understand up to here. Now we move towards step number three. which is very important one how to draw ellipse so step number 3 is very important always keep in mind from outer circle you have to draw vertical line and from inner circle you have to draw horizontal line from each and every point so i am going to start from point number 1 from point number 1 i am going to draw one vertical line it should be straight line it should be thin line vertical line from point number 1 outer circle similar the horizontal line here the point of intersection the, here we get point p1 so this is the point p1 similarly from this outer circle point number 2 draw one vertical line and from inner circle of point 2 draw horizontal line and intersecting point will be a point p2 similarly here is the point number 3 from outer circle point at the same point we have to draw one vertical line it will which will pass from point number 3 and horizontal line will be intersect over here so point 3 itself is p3 similarly from point number 2 we draw one vertical line which is moving upwards and horizontal line here we get next point that is point p4 so this is point p4 next point p5 vertical line from point 5 horizontal line from inner circle point 5 it will be p5 here again vertical line from point 6 and horizontal line means at point 6 itself is point 6 p6 similarly we have to repeat same procedure for this point vertical line horizontal line p7 again vertical line horizontal line p8 like point number 3 point number 9 will be there 9 point itself is point p9 vertical and horizontal here is p9 to repeat the procedure so from point number 10 horizontal line and here again so this is p10 then 11 vertical line horizontal line here p 11 and 12 itself is p 12 so like this we get all the points p 1 p 2 p 3 p 4 p 5 p 6 p 7 p 8 p 9 p 10 p 11 and p 12 so this is the step number 3 and now we are moving towards the last step to draw ellipse so after joining each and every point we did ellipse this is the required ellipse this should be the dark line and it is the outline of ellipse so it should be visible so this is the ellipse by concentric circle meter and as per the given data major axis is 100 mm so i am going to show major axis so this is the major axis of ellipse 
this is the major axis and this is vertical one is minor axis of the ellipse so as per the given data we have to draw ellipse with concentric circle method and two things are given one major axis and second minor axis so this is the minor axis so hope you understand this lecture if you like this lecture you can like this video and you can share this video to your friends also thanks for watching this video